I would write anyway. It's really lucky I can get paid to do it. Right. I'm Ken Johnson. I, uh, I write art criticism for the New York Times. I never look at the byline when I read the Times. I know within six or seven words, whether it's Ken or one of the other critics. I graduated from what was then SUNY Albany, now the University at Albany, with an MA in studio art in 1977. I've often said that I taught every, Ken everything he knows, but he's taught me a hell of a lot also. It was a funny a mixture of things that, that, uh, that Ken brought to us. You know, being a writer and a painter and an art, you know, object maker, he was also a sculptor. So he, he had a funny kind of generalist spirit. What is art if people aren't talking together about it? Criticism in and of itself is its own art. So it's a, you know, a parallel art to the art it's talking about. I mean, obviously the Times is as prestigious as it gets. There's something like between three and four hundred galleries minimum in the city. You know, if you didn't get a review in the Times, then it was as if the show didn't exist. No one knows uh, what's going on, period. So now the role of the uh, critic is taking people by the hand and giving them sort of a guided tour. I want to share how I experience art in all its complexity. And in sharing that or in writing about that, I understand myself better. He has a style. He's a wonderfully clear and, and vivid writer. There's a sense that what you're reading is very much what he thinks at the moment in front of the work. He often says the unsayable in the art world in New York Times. A lot of people would say, I, oh, I could never say that in print. But I think that's what makes him great as a critic, because he, you can't buy him. There is no price that he's willing to pay for sort of messing with his uh, beliefs. The credibility of criticism of a critic gets down to how honest they're being. He's really curious. He would rather expand consciousness than uh, tamp it down. <laughs> I mean, New York is a churning, you know, inferno of creativity, and and I wouldn't want to just sit home and contemplate my own navel and, uh, and, and not partake in it. So. I think I'll be one of those people that hangs around writing the reviews for a long time.